about the character of Mason? I mean, besides the domestication that was bothersome later on, was there anything about him that would change, that he could? Was there any, like, okay, you want the writers to do this, and they're going in this direction, and you're not liking that? Well, I was, I, you know, I always sort of fought the marriage stuff, the resolution stuff, because I, I always feel like it's death when they finally put characters together, mm -hmm. you know, and then Nancy and I sort of became at odds. I was fighting that old storyline. The, the whole Sonny Sprocket storyline was written to separate me and Nancy. Oh, to, okay. to prolong the storyline because the audience liked the storyline, but Nancy and I were having so much trouble getting along. <laughs> <laughs> they put me in a different character for a while to separate the two, to separate oh, the two characters. Yeah. Wow. Um, about um, are you looking to do any more TV, or do you do you prefer directing and prefer the stage? Well, I, what I'm doing right now is what I really like best. You know, I finally realized in my old age that what I am. You know, I started out in well, I started out in community theater, but I became a regional theater actor. So um, once I, uh, I, you know, sort of provided for my future with television, I, I came to grips with the fact that I'm really a regional. Guy. I'd, I'd rather work in a company with either as an actor or director with actors that I respect and you know do plays that uh, keep uh, the local audience you know mm -hmm. informed and entertained and enlightened or whatever else those magical things you can do with theater. Mm -hmm. And I know you worked on a couple theater companies in California. The West yep. Coast. Yep. I founded two of them. Okay. One is still in existence. One of them with, without me there was you know, was not viable, um, so it transitioned into another company, basically, but the um, Kingsman Shakespeare Festival is still there, and it's, oh, mm -hmm. I started in 97, how many years is that? It's mm -hmm. 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 years, wow. I think it's a 14, 14 season. Wow, do you just find it easier to work here, though, and not on the West Coast? I just find that the quality of life mm -hmm. back here is, yes. on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, is so much higher than the West Coast, mm -hmm. especially with, you know, sort of gradual deterior deterioration of California in some ways. It's just that there are more cars and less services and, and you know, I'm just at an age when I was getting too cranky to be on the freeways. It wasn't safe for me to be on the freeway. Here, driving is so stressful. You know, here it's like I find driving relaxing because you're driving, especially around here, it's like God's country. You know, you're driving through horse farms and some of the prettiest land on the planet. So right. I just you know, and then in Georgia, Georgia has Hope Scholarship. Both my boys are in college on Hope Scholarship, so they hardly cost me money. It's, you know, there's just many things to recommend being back here. And, and my family goes back to the revolution, literally, in this part of the country. So wow. it's no place else ever completely felt like home, even though I spent almost 30 years in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a long time. I couldn't believe how long you and Jerry Yes. He said 70s, yes. early 70s, 73. Yes, yes, we, wow. were, we were children. He, he, he was, he had, you've seen that picture on Facebook. No, he? he said he was going to oh, send that. Oh, look at that. I was like, oh, were we ever that young? You know, he's, he's this little pink cheek ch ch chub chubbo, you know. Uh, it was our very first Lamancha. I think we were 23 years old. Oh. Well, Tracy recorded for me your performance in Lassie. Oh. <laughs> About that, young, yeah. what are talking about? Wow, that was that was Ste neat. Stephanie Zimbus turned 21 on that shoot. I, mean, <laughs> I bought Stephanie Zimbus her first legal drink in oh, okay. Santa Rosa, California. Uh, wow, and what was it like to work with James Stewart? That was fabulous. You know, it was like it was really <laughs> daunting because you know I went from this play in Hollywood to being on the soundstage. Uh, with Jimmy Stewart. And then, you know, when we went up north on location, I had like a duet scene where it was just the two of us. Oh, wow. and, uh, this, and there I was all of a sudden with this icon, but he was an extremely gracious. Mm -hmm. nice was he from the South? I think he's a Midwestern. I, I think he's Stewart was South. like Indiana or something, but I'm not sure. You'd have to look that up. Uh, yeah. But, but I think he's Midwestern. Yeah. Wow. 
you got to play a little bit of a hero in that yes, right? Yes, I got to prove that Massey did in fact belong to Jimmy Stewart's yeah. grandson yes. and not to the evil Cornell Ross. Right. Oh yeah. my gosh, and I could not believe Cornell Ross. Yeah. <laughs> I loved him, and I guess it was Gunsfall, wasn't it, that he was, or no, Benza. No, Benza, yeah. Benza, yes. Yeah, he was another icon, and he's from Trevor around. John. Yeah. He came up to me at one, the first day we were on set and said, I hear you're from Georgia. I said, yeah, why? Well, he said, boy, I'm from Waycross. You know, just out of the other end of the state. Which I had no idea he was a Georgia boy. Nice man. Mm -hmm. So any inkling of what we're going to see next year in the Tennessee Shakespeare Festival? Very likely. Um, I'm burning through the comedies a bit quickly, so I think I'm going um, to do a... Um, Macbeth next year. Is it going to be a one-play summer again? Well, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It sort of depends on uh, it sort of depends on fundraising. Uh -oh. Let and me get my purse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Break out your purses. Hit the donate button. Yeah. Uh, okay. And are you sure. going to be in it? What yeah. part would you play in Macbeth? Uh, well, I you know having having played Macbeth four times and directing it once, and then I might actually put myself on stage yeah. just sort of for the fun yeah. of it. But it would probably be as Duncan. Or something like that. I wouldn't play Macbeth and direct myself in Macbeth. I've actually already um, got a Macbeth. The, the, the fellow that did it for me in Los Angeles, I've talked him and his wife into moving back here to oh. this part of the country. Oh. Um, she was the Adriana tonight. Oh, okay. She had worked with my other company in California, J.J. Rogers, and her husband, Travis Brisbane. I've already precast as Macbeth for next summer. Wow. Yeah. So you've already got everything in the well, yeah. All you know, all we need is funding, mm -hmm. but it's coming slowly yeah. but surely. You okay. know, that's always the toughest part of the business. Great. Any other questions, Trace? Put her on the spot. I am not going to crop you out, <laughs> so don't uh, even ask. <laughs> okay. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. It's fun. That was painless. <laughs> yeah, we try uh, to make it painless. <laughs> oh, me. So you got my text, Michael.